Timbag nga at sapa sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. My name is Catherine Doctolero and I would like to welcome you all in Vegan Locosur. So just a brief background, Vegan City is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Vegan City is a historic town and was established in the late 1500s during the Spanish domination of the Philippines and this well-preserved city is known as the capital city of Ilocosur. The name Vegan derives from the word Bika, which is the name of a giant taro plant that grows in abundance on the banks of the river Mestizo. The Bika plant is actually common in the Philippines located near wet areas. Even in Metro Manila, we could easily find the Bika. They grow in ditches and waterlogged vacant plots. The common Philippine plant, however, ranks as one of the biggest in the genus and even in the family Arce. The white big leaves are heart-shaped, used by many as a distinct shape to adorn their houses in festa season. Its grandeur form makes it a deserving plant for which a city like Vegan was named after. also known as the Katamalayan or the place of Chinese. It is because most of the Mestizo families living here are Chinese or Ganaros or Sanglay. Hence, the other name of the area is called the Sanglayan or places of Sanglay. Before it was named as Calle Cresolga Street, it was first called as Calle Escolta de Vigan. Upon discovery of the town by Juan de Salcedo in 1572. We are going to eat and one of the famous festivals here in Vigan City, which is the Longonista Festival. A festival that helps every month of the morning showcasing the cultural and natural heritage of the town, also means tasty Longonista products of their own. Vigan Cathedral or St. Paul's Metropolitan Cathedral is one of the landmarks of Philippine Catholicism and the pride of Northern Luzon. It is a Baroque-styled cathedral with neo-Gothic and pseudo-Romanesque motifs. The moldings on its facade and the brass communion rails give hints of the Chinese influence in its interior design and architecture. The Vigan Cathedral was first built in 1574 by Spaniard Juan de Salcedo. It has a main altar with silver beaten panels. The facade features Chinese lion dog ornaments and above the main doorway is an alcove depicting the conversion of St. Paul. The full dog's design carved above its outermost doors is a testament to Vigan's strong Chinese heritage. Also, aside from the vegan longanisa, a visit to vegan will not be complete without tasting its famous vegan empanada. The vegan empanada is much in keeping with the vegan people's love for vegetables in their cuisine. Travel back in time as we go in Banawang Bridge, a scenic old Quirino Bridge and an old Parker-type Camelback Bridge named after the late former Philippine President Elpidio Quirino, who hails from vegan. Now that we're talking about histories, Padre Burgos Museum is one of the three historic buildings that is part of the NM Ilocos Regional Museum Complex. The museum is an ancestral house constructed in 1788 which was declared as a historical building owing to its association with the martyred priest Father Jose Burgos during 1837-1872 whose death along with two other priests sparked the anti-Spanish colonial resistance. Coffee and I think we will have an experience doing your own jar tea in ID Jar Factory. ID Jar Factory is one of the few attractive jar makers in the city. The place accommodates students in the midst of the coffee production. You can also watch the coffee making jar bundagos. A trip won't be memorable if you're not gonna buy souvenirs. So here in Calle Crisologo, Island Souvenirs is located. While walking in the cobblestone street, 
you will walk to this beautiful store wherein you will see a lot of products that showcases the works and foods of Ilocan. Welcome to Vegan Ilocasur.